The Bahamas Department of Correctional Services setting its sights on Family Island candidates during its latest recruitment exercise, with Grand Bahama residents accounting for approximately 14% of the inmate population. Officials say there is a crucial need for skilled persons who meet the basic requirements to apply. Our Raven Davis has tonight's top story. A recruitment drive getting underway here at the C.A. Smith building today as the Bahamas Department of Correctional Services seeks to increase its staff complement by 100. Of that number, 70 men and 30 women. It is only the second time BDOX is hosting a recruitment exercise on Grand Bahama. And amid the ever-changing dynamics at the prison, officials are anticipating a better turnout this time around. Considering that Grand Bahama's economy is in need of revitalization and after Hurricane Dorian, so we figure that is one of many ways that we are able to help boost the economy. We have 150 inmates residing at our facility and we can and say we have no corrections officers from Grand Bahama. The exercise officially commencing back in December and prison officials have been visiting several other islands and in some cases conducting video conferencing as a means of targeting out island candidates. We are looking to hire 50 individuals from the out island so we want to level the playing field and when you do that you kind of get a more diverse workforce. The BDOCS team conducting on-the-spot interviews and processing a number of applications. Acting Commissioner of Corrections Don Clare revealing an ambitious target of reforming as many inmates as possible. This, he says, necessitates a diverse and professional workforce. It's a rewarding career. Uh, we're not looking for only for correctional officers. We'll be looking for technicians. We'll be even looking for pilots. We'll be looking for um, uh, uh, teachers, nurses. You know, so, so anyone that has skills and, and meet the necessary basic requirements can apply today. 99.9% .9 of the inmates that goes into the Bahamas Department of Corrections is released. And out of that 900, I mean, out of that 99.9, .9, at least about 20, uh, I'd say about 14.2% uh, is from the island of Grand Bahama. So this is one of the reasons why we, we, we are now seeking so earnestly to get uh, recruits from this island. The application process will remain active until February 14, after which successful candidates will undergo 16 weeks of training in New Providence beginning March 13, 2023. For the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition, I'm Raven Davis.